Hi everybody. Hey, Friday once again. Great to see you guys logging on. And um, the topic today we have is called renewing your bariatric vows. Super cool topic. Hello to you guys all in Facebook li live land. Um, we're in a bariatric corner right now. And the topic, renew your bariatric vows, right? That's, this is about making peace. Hey, Bev, making peace with your bariatric tool and giving your tool what it needs to reach its goals. Right, Chelsea? Chelsea, Bev, what are you guys doing this weekend? What's going on this weekend? So all of us were striving all the time, right? Better health, uh, better number on the scale, right? better mental health, um, a better gene size. <laughs> it never ends. And that's the bariatric journey also. The bariatric journey, it just never ends. It just continues and continues. Ups and downs along the way. So for all you guys that read my weekly blog, and for those of you guys who watch my fa Facebook Live, um, my videos every week, um, thank you very much. I want to just really thank you for that. And um, some of you guys, like Bev, I've known for many years. And some of you guys, like Chelsea, uh, I'm just getting to know you right now, right? Nels, welcome to the team, Nels. Let me know if you want me to make any announcements. If you don't know me, my name is Sherry. I'm a bariatric nutritionist and a surgery coordinator. Who watched my video last week and made themselves some 90 second low carb bread or made themselves some 90 second uh, chocolate cake or berry cake? You guys remember, Chelsea, did you try it? You guys remember the bread that I was showing to you as a, as a demonstration? So I made it on Friday and I ate it on Wednesday, so it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and you know what? It lasts really good. I had it wrapped up in the fridge, and uh, it was good to go five days later. Back to our topic, renewing our bariatric vows. So we're all at a different stage in the journey, right? We're all at a different stage. Not all of us are at the same place this very moment, and that's what I want to discuss with you today. Uh, Nell says, certainly, definitely throw it out there. Just like you, I'm always available. Cool. So Nels is uh, joining our team. He's joining IPF team. He's, um, he's uh, taking over a part of this company. And that's super exciting. I'll be making announcements um, about Nels um, and, and his role in IPF. And um, if you want to reach out to Nels also, I'm going to put his email address here. Um, he's uh, a coordinator, but he's way more than a coordinator. He's a really in integral. He's going to become a very integral, important part of IVF, and we're super excited. So Emily, hey Emily, hey little Emily, you're looking great. Michelle McGrath, hey. So guys, what happens when you're five years post bariatric surgery or you're ten years post bariatric surgery? Is it over? What changes? What's different? from the very first year after surgery. Hey Stacy, it was nice talking to you earlier. Um, okay, so I feel like I'm an authority on this topic, right? Because I work with clients that are at every single different stage throughout the weight loss surgery journey. I meet you before you have surgery and we discuss the pre-op pre, pre diet and we discuss the surgery itinerary and how everything's gonna work and I hand you off to your wonderful group of doctors Dr. Verbunen and the team who take care of you for 40, 48 hours. And then they tag me back and I take over with you for the next year or, or a lot longer, right, as we progress through this. So I get to see you guys cruise through your first year post-surgery. I see your weight loss stalls. I get to see those plateaus. And I get to hear the cries also when you're frustrated and that darn scale just doesn't want to move. Uh, I get to celebrate with you, so lucky, I, when you reach your goals. And Stacy, Darlene, Candice, Carla, you guys know what I mean, right? That first year as you cruise through the bariatric journey and you're doing so great, I call it the pink cloud, the honeymoon stage. And then guys, there's another stage, and that stage, it's called limbo. Let's talk about limbo a little bit, right? 
I think that's a place where a lot of us live a lot of the time. Um, Candace is having a laugh. Yeah, limbo. We haven't met our weight loss goals and we just become kind of complacent, right? We may have got really close, but we might have experienced a regain. Um, there might have been um, issues like a job loss, like a, a death in the family, like somebody sick in the family, like a work stress. It doesn't, the reason doesn't really matter. You guys join in any time, right? I just think sometimes life gets in the way of us reaching our goals. But does that mean that it's over? Like, does that mean that's it, the sleeve's not working anymore or the bypass is over, it's finished? Um, what, what gives, right? Okay, so this is how I feel about it. Your tool does work. It's not broken. It's totally intact. I think what breaks is our commitment to ourselves, right? And I think that when that happens, that it's our job to just dig a little bit deeper, right? Work a little bit harder and get ourselves back to the basics. Candace, you're uh, tagging your friends to watch the video. That's cool. How do you feel about that? Who out there has reached their goals? Who's you put goals in the comment? If you reach your goal, I want to see you put goal. Reach my goal. I'm at my goal. If you've, um, if you're in limbo, put the word limbo. <laughs> I spend a lot of time in limbo. I think. I'm working, but there's things I can do better. Drink more water. Um, I mean, okay, so let's talk a little bit about uh, what we can do um, besides work a little bit harder. What does work a little bit harder mean to you, right? What does that mean to you? Um, ditching sugars, ditching the starches, um, starting to move again and, uh, and get active. I've taken a, um, a, it's a personal goal of mine this summer to become much more active, do a lot more exercise, and so far, um, thanks to all of you and thanks to these, these videos that we do and the blogs that we write, it really helps me recommit to myself. So how do you recommit to yourself, right? So I, I get often uh, messages and, and uh, emails from clients who are in this exact situation. Bev is at her goal. Bev, way to go. Goal? How long you been at that goal for? Way to go. I, I knew that you're at, at your goal. It's been a while now. Um, and now you're in maintenance. But you, even when you get to your goal, right, Bev? Even when you get to your goal, it's like it doesn't really end, does it? It's like you're continually striving for better health, right? Crystal's reached her first goal, made the decision to contact you, and my second goal, surgery date scheduled July 2nd. You're right, Crystal. You're on your way there very soon. So the first goal, we actually, city, when we sat down on the call, we actually um, set a few goals for you, and that was where are you going to be after the the first I think was two weeks and then the first month and then the, the next short-term goal and then the far the final goal cool uh, now exceeded goal now work daily to maintain and try to stay on top of things if I go up then it comes off right so you're one of those awesome patients and coordinators and you if you see it coming on, you take charge because you know what? It's a lot easier to lose five or 10 pounds than it is to lose 50, right Nels? It's a lot easier. So some of the, uh, some of the things I tell clients when they call and they're upset or they're on a stall or they're in limbo is, uh, you know what? You got this, right? The first thing is, okay, let's get positive, right? None of this, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get really po positive. Okay, you got this. You're a champion because you lost a whole bunch of weight the first time. Fantastic. You lost a whole bunch of weight already. So you just need to get focused and, and, and follow some, I, some basic guidelines, right? Like for, so Fridays suck for picking a recommitment date, but Monday is going to be my recommitment date or Sunday is going to be my recommitment date. Right? I'm going to recommit to myself, right? Getting back to making those, back to the vows you originally made. Hi, Diana. So getting a food plan, right? Okay, so making a food plan, that's just going back to basics, right? Food comes first. Weight loss occurs in the kitchen. So making a food plan. So what I, what I plan on eating. Um, getting a food prep, right? D choosing your food and going to the store and, and purchasing and going through the motions of preparing your food so that you plan to not fail in the weeks coming up. You know what? Weigh yourself, right? We need to weigh ourselves 
Like in the very beginning, we weigh ourselves, we take pictures, we take measurements of the neck and the arms and the chest and the stomach and the hips and the thighs and the calves. Mark all those measurements down, get serious. Get your water bottle out, dust off your water bottle. Maybe you haven't been drinking water. Um, I'm terrible, I'm like a camel, I have a hard time drinking water. Hey Cheryl. Um, remove all the refined and processed food from your cupboards, right? From your fridge. That's a really good place to start getting rid of all that. Um, so weight loss is multifaceted, right? Uh, lower your stress levels. Take deep breaths. Don't let yourself get st excessively stressed, right? Sometimes it's really hard, but, but pay attention to your, your signs and your symptoms of stress. Um, sleep, right? Sleep is the most beautiful medicine. If we don't sleep well, it makes it harder to lose weight. Set your bedroom up for some really good quality sleep. Darken your room, lower the temperature, get ready to sleep better. Have a sleep hygiene, hygiene plan. Um, oh yeah, we talked about it earlier. Um, exercise, get ready to move again. Um, put your physical plan into action. What are you going to do to recommit to your bariatric vows when it comes to exercise? Um, are you going to walk? Walking is awesome. It doesn't mean you have to go hit the gym. If you like going to the gym, great, go to the gym. You can jog if you like jogging. You can strength train if you like strength training. Um, if you like gardening, awesome. Garden. Do something that you like, right? If you don't like kickboxing, don't go to a kickboxing class, right? Um, there's things I don't like to do, and if I try to make myself do them, I'm... I'm not going to be happy. Okay, some other things we can do. Um, hi, Nikki. Um, get back into your favorite uh, bariatric forum or your favorite Facebook group. Um, let them know you're back. Let them know that you need their help and their support. Be accountable. Hi, Cindy. So these are just some little ideas. No, they're pretty big ideas. That ways that we can get back on track if we get off track again, recommit to ourselves, recommit to our bariatric procedure. And if this is you, um, yeah, hi Cindy, I'm pointing at you, not you, all of you, um, then that's okay, right? If we get off track, we're, in, we're living in limbo a little bit, that's okay, I'm here to cheer you on. Um, I don't agree that we should live in this limbo place, that we should do something to get out of limbo. And maybe limbo, I'd rather you live in maintenance or I'd rather that you live in actively losing weight, not in limbo where you're, you're just okay, right? I want you to thrive, right? Um, you lost a lot of weight, then check with yourself. Did you reach, reach your ultimate weight loss goal? Um, sure, you reached your ultimate weight loss goal, but did you have a regain? Don't become complacent at this point. I think that you promised yourself never to go back where you started from, right? I mean, when you made this really important decision to have weight loss surgery. Guys, anything out there in Facebook Live land? Anyone want to say anything about their goals or about their living in limbo or about uh, having problems um, becoming complacent right now? Or is everybody 100% right now? Everybody's good? So I'm never going to give up on you. So I expect that, that you don't give up on yourself either. Um, so I'm going to make an exciting announcement next week um, for um, as somebody who joined our team. I'm going to make a, a Facebook post and a little live video, and uh, I'll send you the links and information. And um, I'll be preparing this week for the obesity health. Well, I'm going to be preparing this week from now until ooh, until October for the obesity help um, um, seminars. Not seminar convention. It's the national convention. Obesity Help, October 4th and 5th, Anaheim, California. Tickets aren't expensive. I think it's like $90, $85 for a two-day event. It's at the Delta, Anaheim. And um, there's thousands of people that go every year. And it's a really, really great place to be, to get active support, learn about vitamins, learn from different doctors and coordinators and nutritionists and dietitians. It's super interesting. So if... Um, if you're one of the thousands that came and conquered and, and had your surgery, um, but you're having a little bit of stall, um, now's the time to get back up on that horse and, uh, and to take control. So it's prize time right now. I am going to give away uh, three bottles today of multivitamins and three of these guys right here. Here he is, three of those. And let's see who's gonna win today. So, 
awesome noise. First name I'm going to pull out of my magic thing is Tammy. Tammy Holt. Tammy Young Holt. Hey, Tammy. That's cool. Robert or Tammy, if you guys are watching, um, you got one of these guys right here. The next one. Hi, Irene. How are you? Okay, next one up. Dana Bernhardt. There you go. You're the second one that wins the bariatric toy. And the third one is going to be... I have here Nika Suarez. Perfecto. Okay, so three bottles of multivitamins. I'm going to do the multi right now. Here's the multi. Bariatric expert vitamins. First name. We have Melia Ortega right here. I'm going to put that down now. Hey, Jamie. Next draw is for Deborah Learn. And the last multivitamin goes to Bonnie McClish. There you go. So we have six winners, guys. And next week I'm going to be doing the, what am I giving away next week? Um, the fat burner and the um, bedtime weight loss. So it's a little bit quiet in the video today. If you guys have anything, anything on your mind, let me know. Last thing uh, about um, living in limbo, it happens to all of us, right? Doesn't mean we're weak or we're bad or we're not strong enough or we're wrong. It just happens, right? It just dust yourself off, get back up on the horse again, your game, your rules, and uh, I make it great, right? Make it great. Have yourselves a really nice weekend. Um, if you have questions, I'll be here behind my desk. I'm working most of this weekend also, so reach out if you have any questions. Send you uh, a big hug, and um, we'll see you next Friday at the Bariatric Corner once again. Bye, guys.